Greetings, students of Australian University. This is Professor Wen. Uh, I just want to come on board and uh, give you instructional support on what you need to do for the next 11 weeks uh, in Business 313 of the spring quarter of 2021. Um, so I hope this video will bring you some comfort and support as we um, navigate through uh, 11 weeks of instruction on how to become successful entrepreneurs. So the first part I want to share with you about the uh, uh, course description uh, so uh, Business 313, uh, Introduction to Entrepreneurship, basically discussing about the key components of entrepreneurship. What is that an entrepreneur need to do to become a successful um, business owner um, in this global and competitive marketplace? So topics such as how to obtain uh, startup funds, how to use business models, how to define the demographics for the um, market segment, um, how to um, invite um, capital um, investors to invest in new businesses uh, and creating a, um, a business plan uh, these are some of the topics that we will discuss throughout um, uh, the 11 weeks of Business 313. Um, so by the end of this course, in week number 11, you and I will be able to recommend a business model such as subscription, freemium, or franchise that aligns with a new venture, uh, a new business. Uh, a new opportunity that you plan to go out in the marketplace uh, and be able to generate uh, as much profits for you as an entrepreneur. Justify target market segments. Who will be your customers? What if you cannot find your customer? Who will be your secondary target market? So uh, be able to justify target market segments for a specific business. Uh, and finally, recommend a plan for identifying sources to fund a business. So even though you have ideas, you don't have the necessary funds to start out a business. So you need funding. Fundings can come from personal savings, uh, a line of credit, uh, venture capitalists, uh, grants, uh, wherever you're able to obtain the funds to open a new business. So be able to recommend um, a plan for identifying the sources to fund a new venture. So these are the three learning outcomes that you and I will achieve by the end of week 11. So um, to get the grace for Business 313, um, you as a student will have to complete the following 10 quizzes and the quizzes are administered weekly. So there are 24 points for each quiz. Um, there will be two homework activities. The first one is assigned in week number one and the second one is week number four, I believe. So these two homework activities will help, will help you to plan and to prepare for the written assignments. Um, it is necessary that you need to do them. Uh, you don't do them, you will lose points and you don't have uh, the guidance that you need to start out your business plan. That is what you are doing. You are writing a business plans in different components and in different parts and you will combine them together as one in week number 11. There will be 11 discussing questions. Each discussing question worth um, are worth um, 30 points. So uh, you need to be able to um, provide quality and thorough uh, response and feedback each week 
If you don't, these points will accumulate and you will not get good score uh, by the end of week number 11. So 11 discussing questions. Um, then there are four written assignments um, for each week. So you have week number three, week number five, week number seven, and week number 10. So uh, you will write three first written assignment. They are relatively short, one or two pages. And then you will combine, you will um, combine the ideas together by week number 10. And you will put into a PowerPoint presentation, a PowerPoint presentation um, using the assignments that you did for number one, two, and three and make a PowerPoint presentation for the final business plan. And if you don't turn in the final business plan, you're not going to make an A because the final business plan uh, is worth 160 points. So then you will have um, the discussion question. So make sure that you post your original discussion question with quality. When I mean quality, I mean, you need to provide at least four sentences or more. Uh, if you don't have four sentences or more, you're not um, able to elaborate on the topic that is being asked. Make sure that you use correct grammar, uh, begin a sentence with a capital letter, ends a sentence with a punctuation mark, whether it's a period, a question mark, or an, an exclamation mark. So you need to use your punctuation whenever necessary. And then you need to prove reading. Of course, you have access to Grammarly. You can use Grammarly to make sure that your sentence has a subject and a predicate. Because if you don't have a subject and you don't have a predicate, you end up with run-on sentences or sentence fragments. Uh, we are at a college level now. so. It is important that we need to make an effort to prove -re what we write. Um, uh, now, make sure that you answer our questions in a thoughtful, logical, and well manner. Make strong connection to the previous and the current uh, content that we are discussing and trying to relate the discussion and your response with real life ex experiences. And so you post the question, but you don't post a response, you will not get full 30 points. So in addition to posting your original discussion, you need to effectively communicate a central idea or a point that a peer posted. Don't just say anything. So then you need to build on the, cl the classmates' comments uh, by asking quality question, not just like, okay, how will you do this? Ask quality question, offering thoughtful ideas or sharing personal connections related to the posted discussion. Um, make sure that everything you share, everything you discuss or respond are relevant to the discussion are relevant to the peers' responses, all right? So you need to reply at least one, one peer response. Now, are you limited to more than one? No, you can respond to more than one uh, peer responses. That would be even greater because we are here trying to learn as much as we possibly can on how to become entrepreneurs, how to become successful business owners in the marketplace where competition is not uh, a joke. Uh, so we need to share ideas so we can become, be competitive and be um, um, knowledgeable in this globally uh, competitive marketplace. Um, so make sure that you do that now. Uh, in addition to posting and responding to your peer response for the discussion question, make sure that you have minimum errors. Uh, focus on your grammar, focus on your spelling, 
and focus on your sentence structure. All right. Um, academic integrity. Please do not copy and paste because Strayer has mechanism to detect whether or not your ideas um, are original or copy from another source. And now, of course, you can use another source to validate or enhance your argument, but make sure you cite so you can give credit to um, the original um, creator of the source. Um, now, the four written assignments. So the first one is in week number three. It focuses on the business model. The business model is basically a conceptual structure. What is that you're going to do to make profit for your business? So for example, you can build a freemium. Um, you can give the customer a free sample. And so when the customer like the free sample, they end up buying a whole lot. You offer a tiny bit, but you gain more from the customer when they like the, the freebie. Subscription, for example, LA Fitness. They want to make sure that customers or members subscribe to um, their membership. Brick and mortar. You build a physical place and you rent out the, the, the place for people to conduct businesses. Bundling. Same thing like direct TV, where they have the internet, the cable, and the telephone all together in one bundle. Leasing, pay as you go, crowdsourcing, brokerage, distributor, manufacturer, franchise like McDonald's, Subway, or retailer, whatever business model. There's are like a hundred business models out there that can support um, entrepreneurs in how to uh, run a new startup business. Then the assignment number two is, is uh, will be in week number five, where you have to discuss the primary and the secondary target market. Make sure you identify the primary, who will be your potential customer. Now, you focus on the specific customer who will come and patronize your business. What if you don't have the primary customer who will be your backup customers? Those will be your secondary uh, target market. Make sure you emphasize on those and be specific with the terminologies that you use in your writing. Make sure you, you use the word primary and secondary target. Startup funds. You have an idea, you have a business model, you have the customers, how you are going to start the business, how you're going to kick it up. Well, you need to have some funding. Will it come from your personal loans? Will it come from your personal finances that you have saved up? Or will you invite a venture capitalist to fund your business? Uh, if in the end, you might have to give a certain shares of your business to the venture capitalist. Or will you obtain a grant? So however you decide to obtain a grant, uh, you will need to write a paper on startup funds. Then finally, you will combine your ideas in the business model, in the target market, the startup funds, in the final business plan, because this is what you are writing. You are writing a business plan for a startup business. So in the final business plan, you have to write as a presentation, a PowerPoint, not a paper, a PowerPoint presentation. The first page you should need to have is your cover page. The second page of the PowerPoint is the executive summary. This is where you summarize every parts of a business plan. Then you need to include a business model again. You need to include the target market, the uh, startup fund. And finally, you need to mention the exit strategy. In case of an emergency, in case of uh, unfortunate happenings, what will you do? You need to have an exit strategy where you will either sell the business or close the business for good, but you need to have a plan, all right? So whenever you write your assignments, you need to make sure the first thing you do is have a cover page. 
use double space, not single, not triple, double space evenly throughout your paper. Use the same font, font 12, not 15, not 20, font 12. Use the same font color, normally black, not green, not purple, black, okay? Be consistency with your writing, all right? You have access to Grammarly, so use Grammarly to proofread your writing. If in case you can have another person, your family members, your colleagues to proofread your writing before you submit. Cite your work if necessary, all right? So uh, if you use another source to validate or enhance your argument, of course, you are welcome to do so, but you need to cite. Um, now, this is um, this focus on more like the attendant, not the, um, this is the attendant. So this is the attendant. If you fail to attend the class online for consecutive time, you will be administratively withdrawn from the class. It is automatic. So you need to post something every week, okay? So this class is extremely easy. It, it is a matter of time management. And if you don't plan your time wisely, you are going to, to, to fall behind and you're going to fail an easy course. And I hope that you don't have uh, any hurdles that will stop you from achieving uh, greatness. Um, this is a very easy class and I believe that you can do it. I'm here to support you uh, by any means necessary. You can text me or call me or send me an email. I will respond promptly. Um, I hope this little video will give you some guidance and will give you some comfort and understanding about the expectations uh, of Business 313 of spring quarter 2020. Um, again, welcome to uh, Strand University. This is Professor Wynn.